Some 35 years ago, I stood up in front of a Toastmasters group and gave my first talk or speech to a group of people and basically had an anxiety attack and thought I was going to pass out. Hi, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm the co-founder of videosocials.net and phoneblogger.net. Well, fast forward 35 years and I've given lots of talks to lots of different sizes of audiences and I've produced more than 500 of these videos. So how did I get over that nervousness and what was the cause of it to begin with? I could literally do a laundry list, but I'm gonna hit you with what I found for myself. One was, I didn't know what I was doing and I had so much concern over my own self-esteem how much did I weigh? What did I look like? What was my voice like? Do I, do I know anything about the topic? It, 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 what business did I have standing in front of people and trying to be an authority, as an example? So one of the things that I learned in that process of practicing in front of, in a safe environment to, to let people um, give me feedback on what they found um, well, actually, even before I get into what I learned, the response that I got after giving this speech and almost passing out, I had tunnel vision, I, I almost couldn't hear anymore, et, et cetera. So the, the gentleman that evaluated me um, stood up and never forget this and said, what a wonderful voice. And that shook me to the core because I had never considered my voice as even a tool or, or anything else. Keep in mind, I had never even stood up in a room and introduced myself before this. So that being said, and there's been a lot of small steps along the way that I've picked up on. The biggest one that I've had to learn, though, is, is to, that it's OK to be myself. In other words, to be conversational, because guess what? If you're sitting across the desk from somebody, and you're trying to coach them, consult with them, counsel them, et cetera, you're a human being having a conversation with another human being. So when we started Video Socials now more than three years ago, and I got on camera for the first time, much of those same kind of nerves and concerns jumped back up again. And then I learned through practice and through the engagement, I'm you know, one of the number one members of the, of the organization I helped found. So I've done this lots of times. What I learned was is that I've got an audience here and these are my friends and I have a conversation with them. I just need to realize that their eyes are the camera. And so that rather than looking down at the screen where they are for me, I look at their eyes in the camera. So there's a whole myriad of things that can get in the way and that can stop you. But I encourage you, come to Video Socials. Click on the guest tab, come as a guest. It's a supportive environment of people just like you that have their own insecurities, their own anxiety around being on camera and quote, being on YouTube. That with just a little bit of practice and a little bit of support and encouragement, I think you'll be amazed at just how comfortable you can get on camera and actually really get it done. Uh, that which you know you need to be doing in marketing, which is getting videos out there. I hope you found this valuable. If you did, there's lots more at videosocials.net forward slash academy. There'll be a link below. Again, I'm Mark Bull with the co-founder of videosocials.net. Have a great day.